there. Sinners have taken all of her opportunities. Instead, she's serving to stay in the set. snatching it a few shots. Yes, I think that's been part of a problem because even in that opening game where Williams missed all those uh, first serves, Sellers had the opportunity, but it's almost as if she was trying to hit a little too hard. And I think that's because she fears the Williams power. On that point, Serena Williams, that really would have been adding insult to injury. That was perhaps more the sort of point that uh, one should look for from Sellers, because uh, she kept it going, she hit a couple more balls than she's been looking to hit throughout the course of the match. And even though Williams came close, the fact is Sellers won the point. Not that one, and it's two set points. no cover on these balls at all. Yes, it probably doesn't hit it quite as hard as uh, one assumes she hits it, but of course with the sound effects as well as the decibels rise, so your imagination does. Out grunting Sellers. Oh, I can see all our friends from the tabloid newspapers getting their gruntometers ready for Wimbledon. At point number three. Really hard on the big point. where she falls just a little short the uh, quick foot movement is just not quite uh, agile and quick enough to get the feet quickly into position from uh, Serena Williams and she held serve to 15 at the start of the second set 
Well, this really is a formidable service. I just love the way she f fell into the court. Well, fall isn't exactly the right word, but she pushed herself, propelled herself into court. Simply can't afford to fall behind in the second set. that uh, it was out on the baseline a couple of points before giving the uh, baseline judge a fearful telling off he is out Second double. Well, three forehand errors in the game from Williams. Silas so may well uh, concentrate on that side for a while. Well, interesting that one of her best serves should have uh, been preceded by two double faults. Her serve is something that over her career she's really tried to work on, try and get more advantage of as a left-hander. I imagine it's been fairly frustrating for her at times there. What she's never really had, only occasionally, is the, never really consistently, is the angle that uh, left-handers can benefit from. through. Would that be something to do with the grip or the ball toss? Or? Ball toss a lot. She throws it up a bit too directly over her. But even so, I've seen players get away with that and still get the angle. It has a lot to do with balance of the body as well. She seems to overbalance. Fourth ace. 40 love. Forehand looking very vulnerable at the moment. An overall from uh, Anne Lazare.
You begin a mistake you wouldn't expect Sellers to make at a crucial stage of a 40-30 point. They're on serve in the second set. 2-1 to Williams. Well, she got her. She had to release the one hand and play it left-handedly. found the ball getting away from her it coped yes you've got to admire really her uh, aggression the fact that she just takes the ball in the air here no no problem at all and of course she's somebody who's won a couple of grand slam mixed titles so she knows how to volley and there's that backhand down the line that Safu was talking about right at the start of the match and it's two break points how early she prepares, gets it a long way back and tremendous wrist and follow through action. Just as in the first set, Serena Williams breaks in the fourth game and takes a 3-1 lead. Signs are that this extraordinary run of success will stretch to a 14th straight win. She's beaten Graf, she's beaten Davenport, she's beaten here, she's beaten Erasmo in this sequence. Race number five. Yes, it might have been quite easy, really, to have said, well, I've done so well, and just sit back as uh, we look at father. Sit back and uh, play the match, not really give it my all. But there's nothing of that from uh, Williams. It's uh, almost a uh, win at all costs, playing the game nevertheless fairly. You've got to admire that sort of maturity. She must be seeing the ball uh, really like a, a beach ball, having won so many uh, successive matches. That come on Venus then, didn't they? Wrong sister, she's already won. Now oh, come on, Why Steffi. You, thank you. Oh, a little disturbing of, of the concentration. And Sellers takes full advantage of a short second serve. Two break back points. It's number six. Oh. 
Well, it's such a great edge, of course, which the uh, Williams sisters have, the fact that they have the power on the serve. Go down break point, the occasional ace. Not too many of the women can deliver. And not just power, is it? Because we've seen a couple of times the slice serve has been so effective. A couple of times Sellers really ought to have made Williams play the volley. Seven break points Sellers has had in the match. Still hasn't broken. Everything going for Williams at a set hide. What were you thinking? Well, a good example of the, not only her competitive, competitiveness, but the difference between their serves. That had a fair amount of swing on it, and yet uh, Williams was still able to get it back. Yet when she swings the ball to uh, Sellers, it's much more difficult. Because it also reflects the extra reach that Williams has on her forehand side. serving from Sellers in this game. Two people thinking that was a double fault. Of course it was a let first serve. Far off the net for yes, but even so, it's a shot uh, backhand drive volley of hers that she'll make so often. Thank you. Thank you. Well, huge points now for Sellers. Can't see you coming from a set and five one down. on the line. Beautiful shot by Sellers because her intention really was to come in behind it so she was throwing herself uh, right forward into the court. Well, two tremendous points from Sellers. And she stays in the match just the one breakdown she thinks she's had seven break points it hasn't broken it needs to hear you for
look when your best shots come back with interest. Oh, it really is. Of course, he's paying the penalty for committing herself, and uh, you really shouldn't have to pay a penalty. Those sort of shots don't usually come back like that. The soundtrack of this match will be available on CD tomorrow. up to Dan and said, is that all right? <laughs> he even said it's good. Caselles finds herself serving to stay in the match. Well, she's looked so composed throughout, uh, hasn't she? dare I say it, almost uh, serene. For him, haven't seen any of those before. <laughs> she wasn't too far away from that. This is super stuff. It is great because it maintains the overall pressure and even though the match may just about uh, be won by Williams, it's pressure that will remain with uh, Sellis next time she plays her. She'll understand that she's really got to put the ball away and she'll be forced to go for serves like that for huge shots off the ground. Second ace from Sellis. Good hand for Sellers. And she forces Williams to serve out for the match. And I suppose the one question now is will there be any nerves at the end of the match? We saw a few at the start when she was uh, all over the place with the first serve and might have lost the opening service game. of the set. Bob, Bob White, please. Thank you. Just a stray ball.
Well, we know it's the weaker wing, but occasionally she brings off some great shots on it. Yes, and it's only really comparative, but certainly not a bad shot. and I'm sure in many ways Sellers uh, will admire the way Williams has thrown us off at this point because it reflects really the way Sellers attacks the match and attacks tennis generally just giving it their all match point for a 14th straight win There's another side, there's the brain. She didn't need to go for much, she just placed it. Second match point. up to the ball and, and sweeps it away dismissively. That's point number three. Dad's on the phone. <laughs> 